Hello, my name is Dr. Benjamin Galen, and I'm an assistant professor of internal medicine at the Albert Einstein College of Medicine and an attending physician at Montefiore Medical Center, uh, the Division of Hospital Medicine, both in the Bronx, New York. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about lumbar puncture. Lumbar puncture is a diagnostic procedure, also known as a spinal tap, and it's different from uh, what is commonly known as an epidural, where an anesthesia doctor actually puts medication into the spine for childbirth or for uh, surgical anesthesia, which is different from a diagnostic lumbar puncture or a spinal tap, where a doctor just samples fluid from the uh, spinal column without um, putting any medication in. So we're going to talk today about lumbar puncture um, or spinal tap. The indications for uh, lumbar puncture are uh, to make a diagnosis of potentially life-threatening neurologic or infectious disease, and the only way to uh, perform uh, analysis safely of the spinal fluid is by lumbar puncture uh, in that case. It's routinely required uh, to perform a lumbar puncture, especially in cases of suspected infection of the brain or spinal cord known as meningitis or encephalitis. Meningitis is infection of the lining of the spine uh, and the brain, whereas encephalitis is infection of the brain itself. Both can be diagnosed on lumbar puncture. The uh, lumbar puncture procedure is very safe. Um, it has uh, very few potential side effects. And you'll have to speak to your doctor about the risks and benefits of the procedure in your particular case. The main uh, risk of lumbar puncture um, is uh, pain at the site. Uh, one thing uh, that I'm sure if you've had one you're aware that a needle uh, enters the lower back uh, through the skin and, uh, and soft tissue and then the needle enters the uh, spinal column to sample out the spinal fluid. The uh, pain at the site can be minimized using numbing medicine uh, such as lidocaine, which often stings itself. Uh, another um, relatively common uh, effect of lumbar puncture with sample removal is a post-lumbar puncture headache, where um, the patient up to five days out from a lumbar puncture can experience a certain type of headache. is characterized by uh, pain at the top of the head uh, or the back, that's positional. So it's better when lying down and worse when uh, seated up or standing um, or walking around. And that is uh, reported in up to 30% um, of um, patients undergoing lumbar puncture and is usually a treatable uh, complication uh, with either medication or another procedure uh, called a blood patch where the patient's own blood is put uh, into the lower back to, to treat the post-lumbar puncture headache. Other very rare uh, complications of a lumbar puncture um, include a formation of a um, collection of blood or hematoma um, inside the spinal column, which can um, be diagnosed and treated, but um, is a rare complication. And that uh, is greatly reduced uh, by being aware of patient's bleeding tendencies uh, and also uh, medications that might um, be able to be held for the lumbar puncture that, that could increase the risk of bleeding uh, during the procedure or afterwards. The um, question of, of um, neurologic symptoms or neurologic injury from a lumbar puncture also um, comes up and it's thought to be very rare um, that a, a permanent neurologic um, injury could occur from lumbar puncture um, when we do the lumbar puncture procedure, we enter below the level of the spinal cord, and the spinal cord is what um, is most important um, in terms of uh, our uh, avoiding a neurologic injury. So we go below the spinal cord. There are nerve roots inside uh, and outside the spine um, that may be uh, come apparent during the procedure. Sometimes when uh, the needle enters the space where fluid is, uh, a patient can experience a lightning bolt sensation down their leg. Um, that usually goes away almost immediately, um, and if it 
that doesn't go away immediately. It, it certainly um, goes away at the end of the procedure. And I think uh, it's very, very unusual to have a persistent um, symptom like that after um, the procedure is completed. The um, uh, other things I wanted to make sure to mention are that um, we reduce the risk of infection or causing an infection by using a sterile technique, a mask for the operator, but also uh, cleansing of the skin and using a sterile field when performing a lumbar puncture uh, reduce the risk of causing an infection um, from the procedure. So I think um, that uh, that's a, a nice introduction to lumbar puncture and uh, addressing some general concerns. Uh, I'd recommend that you talk to your doctor uh, about specifics of your case. Um, the one um, piece of, of um, relevance to the uh, Mollares meningitis um, community is that Mollares meningitis is a recurrent um, type of meningitis. The only way to diagnose meningitis, inflammation of the, the lining of the spinal cord, is by lumbar puncture, looking for inflammation there. And that uh, requires sampling of the fluid. Uh, I'm not aware of any risk of repeat lumbar puncture beyond the risks um, of lumbar puncture that I already uh, addressed for, for each time the procedure is performed. Thank you so much for your time today.